This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete Haynes online manual at haynes.com. Open the passenger's door and pull the bonnet release lever. Raise the bonnet slightly, lift the safety catch lever, then fully open the bonnet. Unclip the prop from the engine compartment bulkhead and engage the end with the bonnet hinge bracket. Pull the plastic cover on the top of the engine upwards to release the mountings. Undo the Torx bolt, release the clamps, disconnect the air ducting and move it to one side. Unclip the wiring loom, undo the Torx bolt and remove the air intake duct from the front of the air filter housing. Cover the expansion tank cap with a wad of rag and slowly turn the cap anti-clockwise to relieve the pressure in the cooling system. Wait until any pressure remaining in the system is released. Then continue to turn the cap until it can be removed. Fully apply the handbrake. Place chocks each side of the rear wheel. Position the jack head under the reinforced section of the door sill flange and raise the vehicle until the wheel is clear of the ground. Support the vehicle with an axle stand under the reinforced section of the sill flange. Position a suitable container under the left-hand end of the radiator. Slacken the drain screw and allow the coolant to drain into the container. When the coolant has finished draining, close the drain screw. Remove the container from beneath the vehicle. Remove the axle stand and lower the vehicle to the ground. Unscrew the bleed screw located at the upper right hand side of the radiator. Add a 50-50 mixture of antifreeze and water to the expansion tank, bringing the level up to the base of the filler neck. As soon as coolant emerges from the orifice, tighten the bleed screw. Connect the air intake ducting to the filter housing and secure it with the Torx bolt. Clip the wiring loom back into place. Refit the air duct, tighten the clamp at each end and secure it to the front panel with the Torx bolt. Refit the filler cap. Position the engine cover over its mountings, then press down firmly to engage them. Start the engine and run it at 2 to 2,500 revs per minute until the cooling fan switches on. Continue running the engine at between 2 and 2,500 revs for a further 2 minutes. Stop the engine and allow it to cool, then recheck the coolant level. Top up the level if necessary and refit the expansion tank filler cap. Disengage the prop from the bracket and clip it into place on the bulkhead. Firmly close the bonnet and check it's secure.